Hello. Yes, £500,000 wasted on prostitutes in Kensington. Oh, sorry, sex workers they're referred to now. Do they all pay a stamp, do they? Anyway, uh, £500,000 of government funding has been secured by Police and Crime Commissioner James Kennedy uh, to uh, help the sex workers. Make sure they're not abused or beaten or suffer violence. Yeah, it's terrible. I agree. There's a nice little centre for them now where they can go in and get advice and blah, 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 and so on and so on. You see, that £500,000 in the field of crime prevention would have been better spent employing God knows how many policemen, bobbies on the beat to saturate the area so the prostitutes leave and go and the clients no longer enter that area. All the £500,000 should have been spent on uh, big alarms and panic buttons in pensioners' homes in and around Kensington and Fairfield. Those that are fearful of being burgled and robbed. They know they'll have an uh, alarm system that will protect them. A panic button that will signal hell for them, right? But no, it's been spent on another protected group. Are they a protected group now? The prostitutes, uh, sorry, sex workers, those that pay a stamp. Uh, are they a protected species now? Like all the other minorities. But anyway, £500,000 has been wasted. I'm sure, given the cosmopolitan mix of Kensington and Fairfield now, that many pensioners, and maybe not so old, are living in fear. I'm sure they'd have welcomed an alarm system on their home or a panic button that would signal help if they needed it, right? And many, many other um, crime prevention uh, needs in the area, CCTV, whatever. But instead, £500,000 of government funding secured by Police and Crime Commissioner Jane Kennedy has been wasted, squandered on prostitutes. Sorry, the not sex workers, they don't pay a stamp, the prostitutes, right? See, in this world, in life, everything's down to personal responsibility. And if you want to go and do that on the streets, then more the fool you. But don't expect any help off anyone. The police should just enforce the law. The £500,000 would have been better spent getting them uh, out of Kensington and giving the residents of that community some peace. But no. Okay, thank you. I've come down to Kensington I'm on Molyneux Road at the moment and just behind me is Shield Road. And I'm following up a story that we did this week in which we said that Merseyside actually has the highest number of street beat sex workers in the country outside of London. And many of you got in touch with us and said that one particular problem area for this kind of work is, is in Kensington and particularly in this area that I am now in, in Molyneux Road and Shield Road where people are saying they're quite regularly seeing women being exploited into sex work in this area. I just thought I'd come down to see if that's the case and it's about half eight now in the evening and I've just driven down Shield Road and uh, at least three separate women who I, I believe, I can't, can't guarantee it, I believe our, our sex workers have, have gestured at the car, walked towards it, smiled and indicated that that, that, that is the work that they are doing obviously as I say we can't absolutely guarantee it but considering it's broad daylight and it's only half eight it does seem to correspond with what a lot of the people are saying that this is a real problem area for for this type of thing now it's important to point out that, that, that this is not us having a go at, at the women who are involved in this the the article that we ran this week is, is much more about the fact that these women are being exploited that they're actually very vulnerable to violence, to trafficking, and the people we've spoke to in Kensington, residents here, say that there are projects around the place that try to help the women involved, but that they are seeing time and time again the different types of exploitation, trafficking, and violence against these women is going on. And it is a real issue for the local authorities to, to try and tackle the police. And we've seen that this week, Jane Kennedy and Merseyside Police have secured nearly half a million pounds to try and help women who have been exploited into this kind of industry and that money is going to help them to point out who is bringing this misery to the streets the people who are who are trafficking these women in who are exploiting them in this way and it's going to offer support for the people 
on the streets, which is clear tonight that something that they really need. Okay, hello, I'm um, back in the same area that I was before, but as you can see, it's considerably later now. Uh, I would say it's about half 10, uh, look at my phone, and I've come back to the same area that I was in before, which is Shield Road, and where it meets Molyneux Avenue in Kensington. And I wanted to see if, as I said before, there was around, I thought around, I could see around three sex workers in this area in the daytime. I've come back and again, we can't always guarantee that the, the women I'm referring to are sex workers, but in, in my opinion, I think I've seen about seven or eight different women who I would class as sex workers. But what is more shocking is, um, just as I pulled up on, on Molyneux Road here, I'm almost certain that I've seen a, a transaction taking place um, there was a woman stood on the corner of Shield Road there, a car pulled in, she leant into the window, and then I saw the car quickly reverse round, come down Molyneux Avenue, and it's just gone into a car park, literally next to where I'm sat here, and I watched the woman follow, head in, and, and get into the car, and obviously it's, it's quite shocking to see that that happening, you know, first person. We can never guarantee exactly what's happening, but I'm almost certain that that is, is what's going on here, and it's it's just really quite shocking to see it up close. I don't want to try and film what's going on because obviously it wouldn't be appropriate and also you, you never know how people are gonna react, but um, that is what I've just witnessed and it's it's this car park literally um, at the corner of Shield Road and Molyneux Road. Um, so yeah, so I mean, if, if we wanted to see up close and personal whether the sex worker industry is prevalent in this area, it doesn't get much more of a, a real example than actually seeing that transaction take place. And as we were talking about before, we've been told by residents that this is becoming more and more of an issue in this specific area. And what I've seen tonight, both the number of people who I believe are sex workers, um, there, was, there was two women sat on the corner before with a, a gentleman sat with them who seemed to be involved, seemed to know them. Again, we can't speculate too much, but there seemed to be some sort of operation going on there. Overall, it, it is quite shocking to see how busy this trade is and how, how many people are involved in it in this very small part of Kensington. And I'll be passing this information on to Merseyside Police and to Jane Kennedy, the Police and Crime Commissioner, because when, with that money that, that they are using to, to launch support services for sex workers, I will, along with the residents here, I'm sure, be suggesting that this is an area that, that they focus on first. Once again, just to clarify, that's, that's just what we witness here tonight. And I imagine it, it's sort of fairly typical of what goes on from what residents have said on most evenings in this area of Kensington.